Hey, how you doing? This is Tony from HUD Pilot. Thanks for joining us one more time. Today we're flying out to Drumheller out in the Badlands, Alberta. Uh, should be lots of fun. I'm uh, quite excited about this one because I've added the camera underneath the, the tail of the plane. So it gives it a different view as well as in the cockpit and the regular stuff. Also, if you check the link below, uh, there's a bonus track this uh, time around. Uh, I enjoyed the flight so much and the view so much that I flew back out there. I've attached a camera under the wing and all you see is the pretty scenery with some nice mushy music in the background. I really hope you enjoy it. So please don't forget to subscribe. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Have fun. And please don't forget to subscribe. I need all the help I can get to make myself feel good about what I'm doing. Enjoy. God, it sounds sad. <laughs> Golf will make a call, fine, all straight, all this way. All this way, Delta Mike, clearing it, Alpha. And all this very traffic goes from Echo Golf, backtracking a few meters from the intersection. All this very. And all this very traffic is snow on 50. One talk star with you, Julia Romeo, is mid downwind for runway 28. All this very. And goal from Echo Golf is clear of the active. All this very. And also the big traffic through the Papa Yankees, rolling runway 28, departure towards Madden. Check for traffic, everything looks good. There are quite a few planes here today, because so everybody's coming in for fuel. This is cheap fuel day at Old Stidsbury. Old Stidsbury traffic, Fox Shot Zulu, Sierra Zulu. Positioning and holding on 2-8. Yeah, all this great traffic, Cessna 150, Boxer Whiskey, Julia. Romeo is just turning base for runway 2-8. All this great. Plane just took off from this way. Are you taking a left or right turn up? I will be taking a left hand turn out to the Papa Yankee. I'll do that, thank you, sir. Zulu Sierra Zulu uh, rolling on 2-8 uh, with a right turn out. Got bottoms of the climb, gears are coming up. All three straight traffic, Zulu Papa Yankees. Then a left hand turn out towards the south. Very traffic, Fox Star Zulu, Sierra Zulu, climb to 5500 with a right turn out now at the smokestacks. Oh, this great traffic, that's the one, 50 Fox Star with Julia Romeo is clear of the runway. Oh, this great. So we'll level off at about 5,000, 5100 for now. Make sure everything's good. The airport's still off to the right. I check things like uh, maximum RPM before I reduce the power just to see if I'm attaining all the power I'm supposed to have. 
Then old Pittsburgh traffic, through the Papa Yankee is five miles to the southwest, climb through 5,500, then we'll be switching on route. It's a nice day, it was a little windy on the takeoff, but pretty smooth today, which is always nice. Engine sounding okay. Hey Ryan, not you around here? It's a really nice day. We're going to try to head out towards It's a nice day. We're going to try to We're going to try to head out towards Drumheller. It's a lot of radio talk on nice days. Obviously all the pilots are out. Um, so we're at about 5500 feet now. And uh, I've got the wonderful four flight here on this side. I've got a GPS in here. And as usual, we're hand flying the plane today, keeping an eye out. There are a few lower clouds, so we'll see if we make it down there. Um, cleaned out all the spark plugs the other day. Uh, it's, I'm in my annual maintenance, so uh, we're doing a lot of different work on the plane, as we have to do every year. We always keep an eye out. I'm 100% uh, VFR, so we always keep an eye out for airplanes, especially on nice days. I've said it before on some of these uh, videos. There's uh, there are a lot of flying schools in the area, and the area where I'm heading into usually has a lot, uh, quite a few planes in it. We'll be running along uh, more or less around the uh, Red Deer River. We'll be flying over a field called uh, Three Hills shortly. Uh, since we're over 2,000 feet over the uh, circuit height, we don't really have to call out, but uh, I think it's the right thing to do. You never know, sometimes there are pilots that are just taking off and for whatever reason might be doing maneuvers over a smaller airport. Three Hills traffic, uh, Fox Rod Zulu Sierra Zulu, currently 5,600, uh, about six miles to the north, uh, sorry, to the west of the field will be crossing over heading east. Zulu Sierra Zulu, three hills. There she is right in front of us. This is the town of three hills off to my left. Still nice, keeping an eye out, no planes around. I don't hear anything on the frequency. Of course, when you're flying over smaller airports, uh, there are a lot of times that uh, quite a few airplanes don't have radios at all, so they wouldn't be able to hear me, which is why looking outside, making sure, checking the horizon is always important. Real traffic, Fox Rod Zulu Sierra Zulu currently over the field uh, from the west heading east. So I do see a hang glider there, or a powered parachute on the ground who obviously isn't going to hear me but I do see him, quite cool pretty neat stuff <laughs> This is a really neat area. The natural erosion over the years. This is dinosaur country out here. They've got a wonderful museum uh, called the Tyrell, the Royal Tyrell Museum. Um, quite impressive. I must go there about two, three times a year. I don't read all the plates every single time, 
or the descriptions, but it's extremely uh, interesting to think that a lot of the dinosaurs that have been found in the area were just randomly found uh, by hikers walking around in the area, finding some little bone, thinking, oh, this is a rock of sorts, and then uh, attached to a much larger dinosaur. So if you ever get the chance, Drumheller, uh, Royal Terrell uh, Dinosaur Museum, or Royal Terrell Museum. I've been living out here for about four years now. Uh, as some of you know, I come from the east of Montreal, and I moved out here for work. And uh, it's completely different than what I'm uh, normally used to, where we've got, you know, what we call mountains out east, we call uh, bumps out west. They call them the badlands here. I guess it's because the ground looks like uh, it rotted away. Again, quite impressive. It's definitely not the Grand Canyon. Join down the river. There is a minimum altitude you're supposed to keep above uh, populated areas. We, we, are, we are not in populated area, but that doesn't mean that I want to go too close to the ground either. It's very, very cool. All the times that I've been flying out here, I've just barely crossed over it. Now I'm seeing it up close, it's very nice. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Incredible, even to the right. So I'm heading this way, there are a flock of geese in front of me, so I've got a strobe light on my plane. <laughs> That is supposed to deter them. I haven't hit anything yet, so I'm, I'm guessing it's working. I don't know. <laughs> My uh, uh, electrical engineer buddy suggested it, who's also a pilot. He says usually uh, pilots put, uh, say, a little uh, circular uh, paint scheme on the uh, tip of the nose, which, you know, shows movements to, I guess, birds flying. Uh, right on to, to you, but I don't know. I've had some pretty close calls over the years. It's amazing what we fool ourselves into believing sometimes. So I won't be approaching the uh, airport. I am on frequency with them because I'm a bit, uh, almost 10 miles away. You can see right now, we're actually, uh, off to my left is the Royal Terrell Museum.
on a pipeline, where can our way southbound along to you? Jeffic Advisory, Fox Zulu, Sierra Zulu, 1267. Uh, currently 4,500 feet over the town of Katik, heading west towards Innisfil. Conflicting, Zulu, Sierra Zulu. EFR traffic, this is Beach Musketeer, Fox Trot, Yankee, Romeo, Whiskey, 10 East Panoka, heading 160 on route from Heller, climbing from 5,500 to 7,500. EFR traffic. Thank you, Romeo. Area traffic on 1267 to 7172, Gulf India, Charlie Fox, Shot, Charlie to the west of Minoka, 4,500 feet, northeast bound to the Evans Refinery. Minoka area traffic, India, Charlie Fox, Shot. Oh, it's rear traffic, 7172, Funko, India, Alvaro, just uh, three miles to the west of the uh, uh, coast as well, heading to Old Disbury. Six seven traffic heading Gold Didsbury, November Echo Kilo. We're straight east of Gold Didsbury, expecting uh, Olds in 19 minutes, 6,500 feet westbound. Well, that was it. I hope you enjoy. We're about 12 minutes from the airport. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And just so you're aware of all the videos that I'm going to be putting out, make sure you hit the little bell. Take care. We are 10 miles south, southwest of Camrose, 4,000 feet. Uh, that's something to the old and have your position. Traffic uh, 1678, so forth for Zulu and Olmia from Moose Mountain to Elbow for the day. Uh, final, probably southwest. Northwest. Traffic 1267, Fox Rod Zulu Sierra Zulu, currently 5,000 feet, uh, two miles north of Bicycle, on route to Old Bisbury, conflicting Zulu Sierra Zulu. 11, 12 miles to the northwest, team uh, five minutes, and expecting one way three four. We are left now wind for three four, four stop. Bicycle cross. Carcer's traffic, directory channel final. Traffic near uh, Three Hills, November Echo Kilo, Piper Comanche, 6,500 feet heading west to Old Didsbury, uh, about six miles north of Three Hills. Traffic advisory in the Drumheller area, Cessna 172, Foxtrot, Oscar, Echo Foxtrot, uh, currently at uh, 3,900 feet, uh, climbing to 6,500 feet, uh, two miles to the uh, west of Drumheller, northeast bound for Parkland. Traffic. This is Beach Musketeer, Foxtrot, Yankee, Romeo, Whiskey, 
8 Northwest Settler, 7,500 over Big Lake. En route, Lethbridge, climbing at 7,500, 9,500. VFR traffic, Yankee Romeo with me. We're descending on the east side of the field, or left uh, downline running 3-3, under each shot. Inbound Old Sidsbury, what are you showing for arrival time in Old Sidsbury? There's traffic, get back to the Beverly Juliet sector, uh, currently 7 miles to the northeast. Uh, we'll cross overhead east to west and join left downwind.